The Square Tail Marabou Deceiver is a great fly pattern for mimicking bait fish. And since it is tied with marabou, it moves really nicely in the water. The tougher bucktail surrounding the softer marabou helps to protect the marabou from being ripped apart. This fly can benefit from a bit of weight, so we will wrap some heavy gauge lead wire. I'm wrapping six times, but you can adjust how much weight you want. Make sure to push the wraps together and make this look neat. Adjust where you want the lead, and then you can start your thread wrap. Wrapping thread over the lead wraps can be tricky. You will want to hold one side of the lead while you build a thread base on the other side. Once a nice taper is achieved, you can wrap over the lead loosely. Then build a small taper on the other side to hold it all together. Now smooth everything out with some extra wraps. Bring your thread to the back, just shy of the bend of the hook. You can add head cement at this point to keep everything in place. Now, we want a few strands of crystal flash to start the tail. Add the flash by making wraps at the center of the flash, then fold it over on itself and wrap in the other side as well. Now, we will be adding our marabou. You want to take the whole marabou feather and lay it on top of the hook. Make sure and surround the hook with your feather. Now make some tight wraps to hold that feather in place. You will want to make sure these wraps are about at the center of the hook shank. Cut off the excess feathers and pull all the feathers towards the back. Now smooth out the trimmed marabou and wrap to about halfway to the bend of the hook. Next, we will add some flashaboo. I take four strands of flashaboo and wrap that in the middle of the clump. Then I fold it over and wrap the other side in, so that way it's on the other side of the marabou tail. Now flip your fly over in the vise. You can add some more flashaboo in the same manner, just on the underside of the fly. To manage flashaboo easier, wet your fingers and run it down the flashaboo clump. This will keep all the strands together and you can tie it in much easier. Now flip the fly back over in the vise again. We will now be clipping the tail. You will want to pull everything back and make a square cut at about double the hook length. To make it easier, wet everything. Smooth the head of the fly by making a few wraps. Now prepare a bit of bucktail. For more information on preparing bucktail, click the bucktail link at the top of the video. Tie in the bucktail at the top of the fly. Adjust if you need to to make sure it's centered and all the fibers are laying how you want them. Then flip the fly back over in the vise. Measure and prepare a smaller clump of bucktail for the bottom wing. Attach that in the same manner as the top wing. Flip the fly back over in the vise again. And rotate the vise to work on the side of the fly. Measure and prepare another small clump of bucktail and tie it in on the side of the fly. Measure one more small clump of bucktail and tie it in on the other side of the fly. Now smooth out the head of the fly with precise wraps. You want this very smooth, so be careful. It also helps to prepare your bucktail properly. So if you're having trouble with this step, please go back and watch my preparing bucktail video. Now we will add the gills. 
For this I am using red crystal flash. Square off one end of the crystal flash and wrap it in so it extends just past the hook bend. Fold it over on itself and wrap that side in as well. Keep holding that tag end in the flash and cut it off the same length as the other side. Now you can whip finish your fly. While this is not 100% necessary, I like to add some eyes. In this case, I am using 3D eyes in silver. The size, I believe, is 532nd, but the size will depend on the size of the fly. Once your eyes are on, and you have made sure that they are even on both sides, you will want to epoxy this. Today I'm using two epoxy formulas. Both are made by Solarez. The first formula is called Thin Hard. This is great for applications like this. It is thin enough to penetrate the materials, but it will also not run. I use it to attach the eyes and build a slight taper to the head. It cures very quickly with the proper curing light. I like attaching the eyes in steps. I add epoxy on the top of the fly head, then rotate and add it on the bottom. Before curing, make sure the epoxy is in the shape you want, and adjust with your bodkin if you need. After the head is formed, I add a second coat of epoxy. The formula I use for this is called Bone Dry. It is also made by Solarez and great for smoothing out the head. It also cures very hard with no tackiness and very shiny as well. This fly can be tied in a number of sizes, from very small to quite large. Give it a try, and I think you will like it. If you like this sort of thing, please subscribe. Leave your questions in the comment section below. Now go catch some fish.